What is the most Karen thing a Karen has even done to you, personally? Story 1. Doctor here. I used to work in a public night shift service, kinda like an emergency room but for non-emergencies, to keep the hospitals clear of white coats. And a Karen walks in at 3am asking for a prescription for hypertension drugs, which isn't unusual, as people sometimes don't notice they're running low. Anyway, the law states that this service can only write prescriptions for potentially life-threatening conditions drugs for a maximum of 72 hours coverage so if you take one pill a day, I can only prescribe you a single blister. Here we don't have bottles, but blisters, and while I'm writing the prescription Karen casually mentioned that she was insomniac, and while cleaning the medicine cabinet she realized she was down to her last full blister. My pen stops, I ask her to repeat, full blister, yeah, so I take the prescription, tear it in half, then again, then I throw it in the bin, explaining her the law. She gets mad, starts yelling and threatened to call the cops. Go ahead. Cops came, and she triumphantly announced that I'm refusing to treat her. I explain the situation, and they ask her if it's true that she has a full blister, and she of course confirms it. The cops look at her, then at me, then ask her politely to leave, as I'm in the right. She's livid. The day after my boss called me and cracked up cause she went there during the day to talk to the manager, and she told her the exact same thing. Never saw her again in there, weirdly enough. Story 2. Worked at a grocery store and a coworker put a 99C slash sticker on my shirt. We were two of maybe five employees so we were all good friends and everything is funny when you got a pastime on a shift so I just left it there. Some woman came through my line and asked me why I had a sticker on my shirt and I just kinda laughed it off. She asked if I thought it was funny and I was like not really but sorta. She asked if my coworker put it there to which I responded yes. She told me she was going to speak to the store owner cause it was disrespectful to behave that way at work. She told me to call my manager and I did but he was a super cool guy and knew this lady was a fucking idiot. She talked to the store owner and my manager about firing me to no avail. She accomplished nothing and was a cunt, the end. Story 3. When I was working retail, this one women had a big bag of coupons. Most of them were unusable because either they were expired or they were duplicates. She berated me because the system was rejecting most of the coupons. She called me stupid amongst other names, telling me I just wasn't doing it right. Then as a typical Karen would, she asked to speak with my manager. My manager came and asked what the problem was. The women ranted about how incompetent I was because I didn't know how to scan a coupon. My manager looked at the coupons and the coupons were the problem. Not me. My manager bitched out the customer for being disrespectful for me and told the customer to leave the store. I hated working there but I'm so grateful that I had managers that totally didn't go by the customer is always right rule and weren't afraid to stand up for their employees. That was just one of many incidents. Story 4. Came up to my register and asked for the price of a protein bar. Every item in the store had a physical price tag because we didn't have scanners at the register. I took it from her, flipped it over, and let her know it was $2.49 before tax. She asked me how much the case would be. Normally we did discounts for cases, but they had to be ordered ahead of time, so I started explaining we couldn't do a discount unless she cut me off aggressively and hissed I didn't ask for a discount. So I typed in $2.49 x12, added tax, and told her the final price. She stared me down for a few minutes before asking me to get my manager. Once my manager arrived she spent literally 10 minutes tearing into me, describing me as the least helpful person ever, talking about my bad attitude, complaining about how awful and rude I was, etc etc etc. I was working nearly full time and commuting to a school over an hour away 4 days a week. This lady took the time out of her day to break me down to the point I started crying. Thanks Karen, I still remember you, hope you enjoyed your fucking protein bar. Story 5. I used to work retail, so I have come across my fair share of Karens. They were a huge reason why I went back to school and no longer work as a cashier. Anyways, one day while I was manning the registers with a few other coworkers of mine, I had a massive nosebleed right as I was finishing a transaction. I grabbed a tissue and quickly excused myself to run to the restroom so I could try to get it to stop bleeding. This meant that I couldn't say goodbye to Karen and give the little spiel about how I was oh so grateful for her shopping with us. Anyways, after about 10 minutes, I was finally able to get my nose back under control and headed back to the registers. I saw her waiting to the side with a scowl on her face, arms crossed over her chest, the whole nine yards. She proceeded to scold me about how rude I was for not saying goodbye. After I apologized and explained that I had an unexpected nosebleed, she told me I should have tried holding it in and that the customer comes first. Story 6. I was a supervisor at Cost Plus World Market. A Karen comes in one night pushing a cart full of obviously used throw pillows and asks to return them. Of course she has no receipt, and instead wants us to just look her up in the system. Except she refuses to provide her information for us to try to look her up. She starts yelling at my cashier and that's when I step in to tell her very politely and calmly that she either needs a receipt or needs to provide us her name and phone number. She starts screeching and screaming about how we're assholes and she'll get us fired and blah blah blah. Then she demands an apology from the president of the world. I'm certain she meant the president of world market. 
but in her bleached hair fury she said the president of the world and I barely held it together as I calmly offered her the corporate feedback number. She wouldn't take it and instead walked out of the store still yelling and without her cart of dirty pillows. She returned about 20 minutes later, quietly apologized, and took her pillows with her, we never heard from her again. Story 7. Working retail one afternoon and here comes Karen with a return. At first glance it's no big deal, just coming in to return a shirt. She walks up to the register, hands me the receipt to start processing and we exchange a pleasant greeting. I take the shirt out of the bag to examine it and it is beyond disgusting. There were brown sweat stains all over it, from the pits to the stomach to the shoulder. It looked like whoever wore it rolled in mud or some nonsense. I proceed to tell Karen that I cannot return the product because it had clearly been used and that only unused and resellable items could be returned. Karen threw a fit, started screaming at me and accusing me of calling her a liar and whatnot. I hold up the shirt and point to the brown pit stains and say Karen. Can't you see the stain? Oh man did that make it worse. She continues making a huge scene and demands to see the manager. News flash Karen. I am the manager and I'm not budging. After 20 or so minutes of complaining she finally leaves saying she'll be complaining to corporate and getting me fired and blah blah blah. Fast forward a few days. A guy walks into the store, finds the first store associate he can and immediately asks for me by name. Oh, here we go again. Anyway, my associate bring the guy over to where I'm standing and I politely greet him. The guy spends the next 10 minutes apologizing for his crazy wife Karen verbally abusing my staff and I a few days prior. Apparently, the guy went to the beach and did some type of CrossFit, HIIT training class in the sand. Karen knows all of this, she was at the class with him. The guy ended up not liking the shirt for some reason and Karen thought she could pull a fast one on us by making a scene. Think again Karen. Story 8. The mother of a girl I went to school with, comes into the shop I work at at 5.58pm, lights are half off, front door is closed, roller door is half down and goes hi my name. I'm just running in to grab a few things. Before I can tell her not to, she's gone into the aisles. My manager comes over and goes what are you doing? We have to be done by 6. You went to find her, she's already got a basket full of things going where are the capsicums? Can I just grab? Keep in mind this is a fruit shop, half the items come off the shelves and into the cool room. My manager is literally the nicest guy ever and agrees to ring up her items as long as she pays card, as the cash is all packed into the safe. No that's ridiculous, I only have cash. My name hun can you tell him I only have cash? So I tell her the exact same thing, that we literally can't access the cash once the safe is closed for the day. Oh, well can you just pay for it on your card and I'll get daughter to pay you back. I tell her that I can't do that, she starts shouting about how unprofessional we are, that the shop is awful because half the items are gone, and that she's never coming back. She avoids me at school events now, and I honestly feel sorry for her daughter. The stories I hear about this cow are shocking. Icing on the cake. Her name is actually Karen. Story 9. She was a friend of the family. Invited me to live in her guest room of her house for free when she found out I was living in a motel after a breakup. I was getting a great deal on monthly rates at this motel and they were letting me store all of my stuff for free on top of that. But, free is free. She was very strict on when I could be out in the common areas, when I could use the kitchen or shower, and wouldn't let me park my car in the driveway because she wanted to leave the space in case the girl renting the basement suite bought a car. I was allowed to have friends over at any time. Shortly after I moved in, she also started telling my dad when and what kind of mail I was getting, for some reason. After being there for three weeks, she told me I needed to start paying rent because it wasn't fair to the other girl living there. The other girl was an actual renter paying for an actual basement suite with an actual tenancy agreement. I paid her for one month, long enough to find something else. I lost a great deal on the off-season motel, and ended up getting a shitty basement suite elsewhere, but freedom was way better than living there. When I moved out, she told everyone who would listen that I was ungrateful and awful. Thankfully she was already on thin ice with my family, but geez. Story 10. Not really Karen, more like entitled parent, but I see no difference. So if you're from Illinois, you know that softball, baseball is huge there. Like everybody plays it. Even if you're not athletic you've tried at least t-ball at some point in your life. My little sister's 8U softball team made the championships in our in-house league. My dad was the coach, and my sister's team and was playing the second place team in the championships. It was like the last week of June, so it was hot as hell outside. The other team they were playing had some assholes for parents, like record-breaking asshole-ishness. Every time a call didn't go in their favor every single time, one of their players gets called out. Boo. One pitch is called a strike. Boo. My dad was the president of the league and often spotted runs and such to the other team because in his own words, they wouldn't shut the hell up. They were down by 10 so spotting them a run here and there wouldn't hurt. Long story short, at the end of the game he was booed off the field by the parents dot 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 you softball game. 0.8 year olds, who are in like second grade Jesus people. Then after the game, the two teams were celebrating at Dairy Queen. Then one of the moms from the other team comes up to me and my dad and says, you and your other asshole coaches cheated, and it was not a fair game. 
If I ever find out that you're working with children again, I'll call CPS and let them know what you're up to. People like you are what's wrong with America. Note, my father is black, so that last line was relatively offensive. Please drop down your stories in the comments. I would love to make videos on them too. And also don't forget to like and subscribe.